So, I'm doing a little discussion on barefoot transitioning, and whether Haviana flip-flop sandals are okay for my feet. As I've been wearing only barefoot shoes for the past year now, and it's summer, I started wearing my Haviana flip-flops again, and wondered if this counted as barefoot wear, and whether flip-flops were considered good or bad for your feet. So, I thought I'd do a bit of googling to find the benefits or drawbacks of wearing flip-flops, and if they're barefoot friendly. Here's lots of negative points I found. 1. They can change your walk completely. You tend to have shorter strides and your ankle angle increases with each step, and foot pain can spread far beyond your feet to your legs, hips and even back. This can lead to tightness of the Achilles, resulting in Achilles tendonitis, a persistent problem that can get worse over time. 2. Long periods of standing or walking in them can cause minute cracks in your foot bones. 3. Heels that are hurting from lack of arch support may lead to inflammation and plantar fasciitis. 4. Heels that are hurting may be from bone spurs, which are spike-like shapes that form from calcium building up. This can happen with frequent flip-flop use. 5. Toe curling can occur as it helps hold the flip-flops on. So you could get short-term tendonitis or long-term bunions because of added pressure to the big toes. Also hammer toes may develop due to the abnormal bending of your toe joints. 6. You may be more likely to have more foot problems if your arch is particularly high or if you've got flat feet. 7. You're more at risk of accidents as they only provide basic protection on the bottom of your foot, such as the most common one which is sprained ankles, also stub toes, puncture wounds, and obviously things dropping on your feet. Number 8. They offer no arch support, heel cushioning, or shock absorption, so wearers may suffer foot pain as unsupported feet take on a lot more stress. 9. If you've got diabetes for example, you'd be better off wearing something to cover your toes such as Crocs. So to conclude, it would seem flip-flops aren't really barefoot friendly and I probably should invest in some proper barefoot sandals that are flexible and more secure. But by the time I've researched and decided on a pair, summer will probably be over. So I'll carry on wearing these Havianas for now in moderation as they're pretty comfy for short walks and Haviana flip-flops are pretty in my opinion and there's a variety of colours and patterns and at least this style has an ankle strap for support. I probably shouldn't be doing my gardening in them, but I have read when it's hot weather, our feet determine the temperature of our body as they contain blood vessels that are able to flow very large amounts of blood very quickly through them in order to help cool the body down. There's less muscles in feet than the rest of the body, and muscles produce heat to feet can stay cooler than the rest of the body. So I'm going to keep my flip-flops on for now and just tread carefully. But I'm looking forward to investing in some barefoot sandals for next summer. <laughs>